Here I'll demonstrate how to use Hypothesis in a course at Canisius College. So Hypothesis is a tool set that allows us to have a conversation literally on top of or looking at the same document or even a website. And you'll find it linked in D2L if it is used in your course. And it'll be linked, usually each document will be linked or each web resource that the professor wants you to discuss will be linked in its with its own link in D12 modules or folders. So I've got a D12 module or folder here, and here's a link to a hypothesis-based assignment. So we'll go ahead and click that. It may open embedded in a D12 window, or it may open in its own browser tab. In this case, it's the latter. I have a bunch of view controls. I can zoom out or zoom in depending on my screen size and what I prefer. I have additional controls here. And I'll let you experiment with those. I'm not really going to get into them here. Hypothesis probably will open up a help window the first time you come in, which shows you some very basic information, but that can be useful. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I can get help with Hypothesis tools if I click the question mark here in the upper right. But the most important thing you need to know is quite simple. So a student has already made an, a comment on part of this document. The professor has already made a comment on part of this document. I can, if I'm scrolled to any part of the document, I can click on the comment to go to that particular passage in the document that the professor has commented on. Uh, conversely, I can click on a highlight and if there's a comment associated with it, it's going to show that to me. And I'm going to go ahead and click show all to bring back all the comments. And, and of course, this will be a scrollable uh, sidebar when there's a lot of comments on a document. So now I want to add my own comment. Say I've got something to say about this paragraph. Well, I can highlight the whole paragraph. Uh, it may pay just to highlight the first sentence of it. Hypothesis brings up a, a little menu. Annotate is one of the options. I'll click that. And now I type in the comment. So my comment could be very long. It could be very short. I can format it with formatting tools. Uh, the length and the content of your comment should be determined by instructions your professor gives you. Once the comment is in, I'll see a button that says post to and it's going to have the course code title that you would see at the top of D2L when you're in a course space. Just go ahead and press that button, click that button, and now your comment is presented to the rest of the class. That's the first way I can produce a comment using the hypothesis tool set on a particular document or web resource. The second way is to reply to somebody else's comment. So say I've got a, a, an additional comment about something a student has said this particular passage right here. I can find that student comment on the right and click the little reply arrow button and type my reply. And again, just click the post to button to make it public. You may find that the professor has put comments in before any student and that may sort of be visual cues as to what to discuss. Maybe not. Maybe the professor has instructions that are elsewhere in D2L or has discussed them with you in the classroom. You may deal with a situation where a document, for whatever reason, does not accept highlights, or the professor just wants you to make comments on a whole page. And there you may be using the page notes tool. This is pretty simple. Instead of highlighting a particular passage on a page, if you click page notes, you're going to see that notes are linked to particular pages. And so you can add a page note by clicking the page note, add page note button, and, and again, hit post. Odds are pretty good that in most cases, the professor wants you to comment on particular passages. So page notes may not be useful. And if the professor doesn't specifically tell you to use them, I would say do not because there are two separate threads and that can become confusing. Stick with annotations unless told to do otherwise.